Today, technology is developed faster than ever. And along with technology come new jobs that require new skills. Traditional education system and business models meet challenges that have to be resolved as soon as possible. There is a research uh, that was conducted on behalf of the European Union that is um, forecasting 900,000 uh, open positions for IT professionals in 2020. From Cisco point of view, how do you see the relation between employment and skills? There is not an automatism so that you have a certain skill set that it will result in immediate employment. So. I think the employment system speaks a certain language and uh, there are soft skills and uh, other technical skills and here at the eSkills conference I think we are focusing on the technical skills level that uh, we want to provide for vocational education uh, and training schools and also for university sector. From my perspective I think starting from the ground up through the education system is really the number one priority and we've seen a lot of movement in Europe about embedding digital literacy into schools. Nowadays I see it's important to have a better quality of life. Yeah. Uh, we have a lot of services which are practically all online. I think first of all there needs to be a deep political commitment to that level of equity in terms of technology access, technology training for teachers and giving opportunities to students. Without having that political impetus, it's hard to bring along changes in assessment, changes in teacher training to realise that vision. If we agree at political level, partner with key players as well, like NGOs, like European Schoolnet, like Lichter here in Latvia, yep. together with industry, I think having that collective voice collective set of expertise to really tackle the problem and make sure that students get access to devices, access to infrastructure, access to really exciting curricula, then we're going to be able to make that change together.